What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Classic WoW video for Cataclysm Classic. Now, today I want to talk a little bit about my plans for Cataclysm Classic, and give you guys an insight on exactly how I am approaching this expansion, my plans, how I'm leveling, what I'm doing at max level, and stuff like that as well. Just giving you guys my opinion and what I'm doing, because everyone's sharing their plans right now, and their prep and everything else. Now, I have made quite a few preparation videos for Cataclysm myself, like stocking up on their points, Justice points and a lot of what to do in the pre-patch, in which case I have been doing a lot of archaeology as you might see on the screen. Now, based on that, I'll be streaming at launch as well, so if you haven't followed me on Twitch, I am very likely live as you're watching this video, and I'll be uh, doing a 24 plus hour stream at the launch, so if you want to come by and say hello, uh, thank you so much, I really do appreciate it, and for everyone, everyone who has been so supporting me on Twitch, thank you so much, from the bottom of my heart, it means a lot, and um, I, I just want to say thank you, it's been amazing, and the community we've been, we've been building in the P-Patch has been absolutely great, and once again, I plan to continue this in Cataclysm, streaming a lot, playing a lot of Kata because it's one of my favorite expansions. Well, this has been, even when that was unpopular to say, online as well, I've always been that guy who always looks at Cataclysm with massive nostalgia. Now, I've played since Vanilla WoW, so I believe I've played every expansion, but for some reason there's just something about Kata, and I can't wait to re-experience most of it. That being said, let's talk about my prep. So, no, my, my plans. Number one, I'm doing a lot less prep than a lot of people are doing, and a lot of content creators might be telling you they are doing. I think this one might be important to say, just because if you see every content creator saying they will do pre-questing, uh, spamming Halls of Stone, doing all of the all of the like really really like prepping stuff to save time to level fast, you might feel inclined to do the same. My plan is to do no pre-quests, go in, fresh quest log, go to Mount Hydral, quest. That's my plan. Like, that's my prep here. I have prepped justice points and honor points for level 85 gear at level 85, and I do think that's really valuable, so anyone who hasn't done that, you might want to try to prep a little bit of points, but that, that's pretty much all the prep that I'm doing to give myself gear at level 85. Apart from that, there's no pre-questing for me, and there's no halls of stone spamming, and there's nothing I'm trying to do to basically speed up my leveling more than just doing the quests fast. Now, one reason here here is that they have taken away the ability to earn Valor points until the first weekly reset, which to me takes away a lot of the necess necessity to actually speedrun, or to try to level really really fast. The thing is, the Tolbarad dailies you'll be able to do in 7-10 to 10 days anyway to get to Exalted and get the Trinket, so that's not really a problem, and Valor points resets on the first weekly reset, at which point you have a full week to do your Valor points and get your Valor, valor cap. So, for me, there's just a li very little incentive to level in the first 5 hours or something like that, so I'm going to do the quests normally, and even then my plan is to still level as fast as I can, but by doing the quests. Now, the factor number 2 here is that I love Cataclysm quests, I love Mount Hyjal, I really love Uldum, and I also tolerate Twilight Highlands, and I tolerate uh, Deep Holm, but I do love two of those zones, and I would not derive myself of the nostalgic value of going through those again. So for me, Mount Hyjal holds a special place in my heart, and same thing with Uldum as well. Maybe maybe I shouldn't hold as much value to questing, I don't know, but to me it's just really fun. I really enjoyed those zones, I really enjoyed the quests, and the kind of storyline behind the quest as well. So, that's my leveling plans. Now, once I'm level 85, the plan is to do Tolbarad dailies ASAP to get that done for the day. So, go into Tolbarad, aka the new daily quest hub, basically Winter Grasp of Cataclysm. Go there and do the quest you can, do the battle that you can as well when you can, and then start uh, spamming heroic dungeons. The thing is, you want to get your daily activities done for the day, and then spam heroic dungeons, and then just keep doing dailies every single day. So, Tolbarad dailies, grab Tarbards from uh, factions, because you have tar bonds like we do in TB's, uh, to, like we do in Wrath, where you will get reputation inside the dungeons based on the tar bar you're equipping. So while questing, you will get some reputation for sure, and then you can buy the tar bonds and use the tar bonds to get even more reputation, and then focus on the reputations or the factions that give your classes benefits. So you have different ones for tanks, healers, melee casters. So just search up which one that benefits you the most, and 
can get that one first, but there's probably going to be an incentive to get more of them as well, because they do offer you gear pieces at both friendly, uh, uh, maybe not friendly, but honored and revered and exalted, so you can get the gear pieces from these factions as well, plus the enchants, so you have a big incentive to focus on reputations, which you can do while grinding heroics. So, get to level 85, 12 barad dailies, grab tarbards, and now you start spamming heroic dungeons both for valor points and for the heroic dungeon gear. Now once you have all of this done, you can just keep this process going of logging in every single day, doing your dailies, both for Tol Barad and any other dailies you have, and then keep doing heroic dungeons to get more gear and also get the more reputation and just keep that going all the way. Now, um, now, now that you have this daily thing going, now it might be time to revisit archaeology. <laughs> Depending on which class you play, it might be time to revisit archaeology, and that is what I'm doing. I'm planning on playing a caster main, and we get a really good ring called the Ring of the Boy Emperor from the Tolivir faction. So it's I'm going to be back to archaeology, this time on Kalimdor, and trying to get as many Tolivir dig sites as we can, and hope that we get that ring in less than 212 hours. As you can see, I'm still farming for my staff as well, and if I don't get the staff, there's a different staff dropping from Tolvir, which gives you spirit, but many DPS classes actually have a talent to benefit from spirit, so that staff is also good, even though you probably want to have this one that is up on my screen. So over the next day before launch, I'm going to try my best to get this staff. If I can, at least we have the one from Tolvir, and we already have a reason to farm Tolvir anyway. And if you're playing a dual wield warrior and dual wield death knight, or even a tank that uses a one-hander like a prop warrior, prop paladin, stuff like that, there's also a bound on account, level 359, uh, not shield, one-handed sword dropping from the Tolvir faction as well, in which case you also have an incentive to farm archaeology after launch, and the raids open on May 30th, so you will see a lot of people farming archaeology after the launch as well to get all the epics they can. Some people might go back and farm the ones that I've farmed here on the screen, like the, the shield, the two-handed sword, the two-handed staff, or even the trinket, because we have 10 days to farm fully pre-raid bis before the raids come out. Now the expansion comes out on May 20th, and the, the raids open May 30th. Now all of those plants are the basic gameplay plants that I have, I also do love making gold, so there will be a lot of gold making sprinkled in there whenever it makes sense. If I find a ridiculously good gold farm, I'll go and do that, if I find a ridiculously good flip, I'll go and do that as well, and I'll be skilling up my alts at the same time, like in professions. So these are the general gameplay things I'm doing less prep, level to 85 and do your dailies, start farming dungeons, and just keep this going, and start sprinkling in some archaeology whenever you can, if you need anything more before the raids open, and then if you want to do gold farming, gold making, I'm sprinkling that in whenever it makes sense, and whenever you need gold. Now as always, I will once again be streaming everything I'm doing on twitch.tv slash the link will be down below, I'll be doing long streams, I'll be doing one really long stream at launch, followed by multiple long streams after after as well. I am so hyped for this expansion, and it's probably the most nostalgic I've been for any expansion ever, so we'll see how it goes. I am really hyped though. Once again, I don't think I've said this, but I'm not even in a hardcore raiding guild, but I'm just still just really enjoying playing the, the pre-patch so far. A lot of archaeology, which um, has been interesting. Bad luck protection when? Either way, follow me on Twitch, thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it. Just wanted to share my thoughts on the launch and my plans and my prep. Let me know your, what your plans are in the comments down below as well, or come by on Twitch and tell me over there. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Thank you so much for watching, as always, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in Cataclysm.